Hi, everyone. I'm Jenny. I'm a tech entrepreneur. I run a VR gaming company, but actually my biggest passion is food. Thanks to my job, I'm able to become a digital nomad and very fortunately to dine more than over 300 million stars in total. So food is like a therapy to me. And in the past two years, I start to think how I'm able to merge the virtual world and the physical world together. But before I get started, I would love to share a quote that resonates with me a lot. It is by MFK Fisher. First they eat, then they do everything else. It's very therapeutic, right? So nowadays, food to us is beyond a necessity. It is an anchor to our memories and emotion. It's not very difficult for you to call a very comforting embrace of your grandmother's chicken noodle soup. And it will immediately brought you back to the home. So to many of us, food is very tangible and physical. You've got to taste it, right? But is it? I would advise, actually, in today's digital age, it challenged that notion. You actually eat with your eyes first. By saying that, before going to a restaurant, most of us will actually feast with our eyes first. One single snapshot on Instagram will sway tons of choices of yours, more than 100 reviews. And actually, one alluring photos, like on the right, led me on a 14 hours journey to Norway through a thunderstorm to just dine there. You can see how powerful social media has become, and food and berry industry start really, really pay attention to that. When I post a nice photo of the pizza, everyone gonna text me where that is coming from. So in this sense, visual representations for the food become more and more important in this era. And for food itself, the more I die, I realize it is not just about the taste, about what's the ingredient in that particular dish. It is actually telling a story. And every single dish, a chef are preparing tons of hours behind it, searching for the best ingredient and produce to offering that. And the service, the sound in the restaurant all come together to that one plate. That makes dining so interesting. And the digital extension to shows like Chef's Table really offering amazing storytelling and cinematography. And you, you start to realize why fine dining is so expensive. It is not just about the beautiful plating. It is actually the effort all the chefs, the creative team come together. So there's a lot of restaurants start to innovate in the space using technology. And technology and tools start to amplify these immersive type of experience. Taking an example for this year, I'm very fortunate to dine at Alchemist, one of the top restaurants. It was a six-hour dining experience. If it's purely just the food, you wouldn't even go. But throughout the whole dining journey, I'm able to see interesting things about the ecological system behind the dish. So about the plastic waste in the ocean. So after experience, you just start to think about it. It actually creates a very long-lasting memory in my head, despite this is almost six, seven months after the meal. When we start to see a lot of uh, interesting dining experience, including using augmented reality and projection mapping, and even one of my friends actually used virtual reality. So you're consuming the physical dish, but you're seeing something else. So these are fascinating creativity. It also extended into something we're very familiar with. So despite the fact I'm a diner, and, uh, but I don't cook. And my first association with cooking is actually through this game called Cooking Mama. So I actually learned how to chop tomatoes and peeling onions through this game until I attended EHL to do the physical labor. <laughs> and you get to see, actually, Online type of gaming related to food and beverage are monetized quite a bit. So taking Gordon Ramsay, he's a celebrity chef, and for his virtual restaurant, 
like the game, Restaurant Dash, able to generate more than 10 million revenue. Then maybe you ask, that's just a game. How is that going to relate it to the uh, physical world? But let me propose you look at Disney. Disney able to you watch the cartoon animation and able to build a physical Disney world. And it's very interesting how the online and the offline could be combined. And there's a new frontier really beyond our current digital realm. That is the metaverse and Web3 I'm going to talk about. The concept of metaverse sounds like a buzzword, but actually it was first brought up by this author, um, Neil Stevenson, who wrote Snow Crash. He proposed a world that's an ex a successor to the internet. So you can see metaverse as actually the successor of the internet, the next generation of internet. It's built based on the virtuality. So in this world, we're not limited to physical limitation anymore. We're able to have our own landmark, geography. We're all function as 3D avatars by using putting AR or VR devices. We are able to have our own rules, even laws or even economy. And from the wave in the past two years with the hype of NFT and blockchain, you actually what's really interesting here is you're able for the first time own your digital assets, which never happened in the past. This really, really offers tons and tons of possibility for the physical world. Because now you're able to trade, sell, and buy digital assets, and potentially add physical utility to your digital assets. So that's never heard of. We're super early in this. Then you may think it's very far, but if you take a look. Apple is announcing Vision Pro next year, and Facebook being acquiring Oculus since 2015. That's when I got started in virtuality. It takes many, many years for the creative and uh, technologists to really push the boundaries. But you can see if the potential infrastructure, infrastructure is going to be there, there's a lot of application could happen. So how would that apply to food and beverage world? Since we're so traditional, it's so labor intense, it's really about the physical. I present this more digital world we're in. We're not completely in the metaverse yet, but we're kind of in between. And right now, we're able to benefit each other from the two worlds. In a digital world for dining, you can imagine we're able to add animation, interactive element. So it's not just mere viewing in the metaverse or in your VR headsets. You're able to actually be able to go into a virtual restaurant that shack could be presented without the limitation to the physical. So technically speaking, you can open a virtual restaurant and gamify it and be able to monetize. Then think about how to tie back to the physical, which takes many, many uh, years to, from a concept to realization. And for chefs, it's really, really interesting. I have talked to many, many chefs. They work really, really hard in the restaurant. Their dream is to open their own restaurant. But the financial fundraising are extremely difficult for them. But in this way, what if they have an amazing concept? They are able to open a mountaintop cafe or underwater restaurant just in the metaverse, in an open world, without asking for investors' money, because you're able to curate an online community and holders that support your dream. That way, maybe you are able to open a virtual restaurant first, then the physical. At the same time, you're able to be virtually, as an avatar, explain to your uh, users and diners virtually without being there. Because restaurant, by logic, is geolocation-based. What about diner? We all got stuck in pe uh, during pandemic at our homes. What if you're able to dine with your loved ones and by delivering a nice meal kit, but putting on your VR headset, you're able to join the mute. You can change your environment. You can go to a, uh, in Central Bay or Miami. And you can also change the presentation of your dish at the same time. So these are all really, really interesting possibilities that we, uh, to, to the metaverse. So I want to give an example, which I want to propose here. So last year, I was very happy I got to go on this uh, amazing trip in Peru. And uh, Central is one of the best restaurants in the world. 
What's really innovating about this restaurant is you're actually dining through altitude. Um, so you actually start about sea level to all the way up to 3,500 altitude. So you're not really just having a tasting menu. Where you're dining is you're dining throughout the Peru's landscape. Every single altitude has this particular ingredient that you only can find there. This, to me, was storytelling. Now, of course, for the chef and restaurant, it's so innovative and unheard of. And I also took on some tours to study these ingredients as well. But after the trip, I found, how do I show this to anyone? Actually, what if we put inside the metaverse game? You, as a diner or as a gamer, you're able to go explore fully to search for these type of ingredients, such as uh, in the game, you're able to find and you get rewarded. So really gamify the whole dining experience. And the story, storytelling in this is unbelievable. And because we're emotionally investing so much effort into understanding the concept of the chef, when I tell you, would you love to go to Peru with me to dine there? You will say yes, I guarantee. And also, potentially, maybe you can start to make some of the uh, dish which increase your health level in, in the game. So completely, it's so creative that I found like it could totally tie back to the physical dining experience. On the financial side, which is also quite interesting, uh, the Metaverse NFT and the Web3 totally changed how uh, financing kind of work economically. The model, traditionally speaking, as a chef, you heavily rely on your physical business. Means labor intense, long hours. Most of the chefs I met, they're in a lot of pain, physical pain. What if majority of the income could come from online or through digital content? Because you're selling a story, the concept. Then you can open maybe four to five days and lower the labor intensity. That way, staff are happy, younger generation want to join the team. That's a possibility I'm presenting here for the food and beverage to really, really think about. So to me, and I think to everyone, metaverse is some, a topic that's kind of inevitable because it's the next third generation computing platform. So in a sense, it's on the horizon. And we are right now in the intersection between the tangible and virtual. And it's our decision to make sure the two worlds actually start to work together rather than in conflict with each other. No one can ever replay a very nice meal in front of you. But throughout the digital journey, it really can help restaurants to think about other solutions. So I found future are really, really exciting. I'm, I'm looking forward to dine with all of you in the future. Thank you.